just putting the finishing touches onto this small resin fountain model kind of dungeon terrain and um, using a couple of these tiny paper oak leaves which are really small and what I've done is I've just dropped them inside the basin of the fountain. Additionally I've used the Green Stuff World UV resin to make this water sort of look like it's coming out of the mouth. I've put quite a lot there actually in fact I think it should be a little trickle shouldn't it because it, otherwise it would be pouring all out of the side of the basin but you know you need to do things substantial otherwise you're not going to see the result are you? And um, to make that little fountain piece I just poured some of the UV resin onto this bit of spare acrylic sprue I had and it just neatly clips off here so if you're using some kind of old piece of acrylic you can pour it on there and then you can cut it off and, and clip it off and that gave me a nice clear small piece to go into the mouth and then I actually put another drop of the UV resin onto the mouth and it just glues it on because you just whack it again with the the UV torch. So all I'm going to do to finish this is I just dropped in those little paper leaves in there is just pour a little bit more of the UV uh, resin in there and then hit it with the uh, torch for a quick miniature water basin effect. So here's the uh, green stuff world. It has a spout. You could sort of pre-decant it out onto something and then use like a cocktail stick or something to pour it in but I'm just going to go for it and just uh, uh, squeeze squeeze a bit more into there. There is a danger of course at this stage that I squeeze too much in because it's quite a large container but I'll I'll get myself a, a nub of this stuff coming out of the pot first rather than um, Oh, there we go. So I've already got a bit coming out, but if I now pop over to the, the actual thing and let a drop come out, it should sort of self-level if I ooze it around the top of the basin. So that's probably enough in there. Quickly gets the lid back on, and you can see how it's a, quite a viscous but the the leaves are darkening because they are picking up a bit of that uh, they're absorbing some of that moisture and actually if I just tip it backwards and forwards it should have the desired effect of um, self-leveling as it works its way you can see it's kind of creeping down the backs uh, the back end there and there's quite a lot of the uh, space still to fill just towards the back but it is filling up neatly and I don't mind that a bit of it kind of splashes up against the wall and looks a bit damp back down there as well it's a banner of just being patient with it <laughs> as it slowly fills the whole reservoir reservoir basin So that looks about done to me. I mean, it's um, probably run a little bit further that way as well. So if I tip it back the other direction, tip it forward a bit too. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm quite happy with that actually. So now take the old UV torch here and uh, blast it. This literally uh, takes a second, but leaving it on any longer just means it's just sort of curing it a bit further. The UV resin will cure in natural light as well, so it doesn't need to, uh, don't necessarily need this torch, but it, you're kind of speeding up to a very rapid moment to do it like this. In fact, you can feel the heat of the reaction that's happening when the UV hits it. And you see my leaves in there, very stark contrast when the UV light's on it. So I turn that off and that's um, that's done and that's sort of good enough for me. A um, couple of leaves in there against a sort of marble effect. And you could have some more watery effect running down the outside of there as well, but that's good enough. 
gives it a gloss look. For this next piece, uh, another resin sort of water trough. I've actually loaded it with the Woodland Scenics bushes. So this is their olive green bushes. And this material is sort of clumpy. And um, you can see there is a squish it. It's, not, it's basically torn up sponge dyed with a, a green a green colour and sort of shredded in a machine and I've put I've backfilled this with it because the trough is so big I'm really not keen on like pouring so much resin I mean the whole thing would be full um, for kind of minimal result you just look, look in there and all you'd see is all of the uh, the UV resin you know in a big puddle so I've decided I'll you know, mix it up a bit with this one and, and put some clump in. Of course, it will just look like some kind of weird um, algae based plant stuff, but there's no harm in adding in some, some oak leaves as well in there from these mini paper cut oak leaves as well, just to uh, scatter them about. And in fact, as I saw on the last one, by putting these oak leaves in, they uh, they look quite bright, and I think they'll look a bit different to the the clump in there, and it will just look like a bit of a not very often used <laughs> uh, when you look in there dirty old um, filth filled um, water trough. So you can see they're just scattering them through, and they're all going to be locked in the resin. And of course, as I say, really, I'm just just put that stuff in there to uh, avoid uh, the Woodland Scenics clump, just to avoid it being too much to fill in, really. So, so there's those tiny oak leaves again. So as per normal, it takes a little while for this stuff to uh, squeeze out, but here we go. And just do this in sort of stages. When I say stages, I mean I'm not going to hit it with the UV light until I feel like I've got enough in there that's covering and enough coverage. It should level itself out. So I'll stop pouring it for now and just see. You can see some of it sort of. Some of the uh, the clump is sort of dry and sticking out the top towards the back there. And what I might do is hit it with the UV, um, which will sort of lock it in place, even if there are gaps underneath. It's pretty good at kind of like suddenly heading back up the nozzle when you don't want it to keep pouring. I just, re you know, relax my pressure on the bottle and... Um, it does sort of stop pouring itself in there. So yeah, I'm going to hit that with UV now. Which will start to cure it. In fact, I can smell it. Because there is a chemical reaction in there going on. And that, that will, if anything, give me a base now that when I put a second layer and then hit that, Quite an unusual smell, actually weirdly smells organic, <laughs> like a sort of burning bush. So yeah, that's locking in. Yeah, so I'll try my best to make it look at least as if it's going on there in an even fashion. You can see over the back there it's still um, it's kind of levelling itself out across the back. Yeah, there's definitely a kind of slight art to giving it a squeeze and then uh, sort of drawing it away. But as you can see now, it's it has enclosed all of the uh, all of the the clump material from Woodland Scenics is neatly inside. It saved me a lot of resin 
uh, by putting that in and now that's it. I'm going to hit it with uh, UV. Yeah, you can see now that um, it is sort of more of an even surface. It's not perfect. You know, how much do you want to do on a small piece like this? But it has locked in the the flowers are locked in. The clump just does look like it's sort of underwater algae dump junk. I don't think it distracts from it. It doesn't sort of tell you, oh look, he's just stuffed a load of um, olive green bushes in there. It does just uh, sort of look the part really. Glancing down, so if I move this up, just so you can see, uh, sort of looking into it. Yeah, it's slightly uneven as well, but say I'm not into this for the uh, extreme doll's house modelling or anything. This is just for for dungeon or war gaming where I want uh, some super detail. Yeah, so I was working really on the on the basis of good enough on this uh, and this trough one here, um, and uh, yeah, that's good enough. And this one, uh, I'm really pleased with in terms of the fact that it's got the water coming down out of the mouth. Okay. And I've got this extra one here that has more of a sort of metallic look to the bowl. And I'm not going to have it pour down out of its out of its mouth. I'm just going to pour straight into the uh, pour straight into the basin underneath there rather than worry about it having that sort of perfect dribble down its face. Whoa. I to apply all my years of hobby experience to avoid that squirting out all over the place. And ketchup bottle experience. That's definitely enough, probably too much, but let's, let's let it pour in. That will now start to sort of fill out the basin. The little leaves on the surface haven't really taken on the the moisture as I hoped they would. So I flip them like little pancakes just so that they look like they're near the surface but not resting on it all dry because that just didn't look right to me. And now I'm just going to hit it with a UV. So get the UV torch out again. It's from Green Stuff World, same people that make the resin that I've got here. I mean, I think this is the same stuff that um, dentists use these days, you know, when you're in a dentist chair and they're hitting you with the UV. There it is. So that's it. Quick use of some UV and um, to give me a few little dungeon pieces that uh, look interesting. I'm saying the surface isn't flat, um, but you know I'm not doing, I'm doing this to sort of make do rather than uh, trying to sort of do the best model on the planet, so uh, that looks fine for me.